I got a message today on my YouTube from a young guy who's watched some of my videos, some of my videos, and he actually wrote to me a long message, and I feel this is something that I need to share with you guys. So let me put on my glasses so I can see, and I'm just gonna read this for you. And <clears throat> if I cry, don't be surprised. My older brother, who is 28, and I have a sister who is 26. My brother actually adopted me a few months ago. I haven't seen my parents or my grandparents since the end of January, I believe. My grandparents and parents had an exorcism done on me to free me of the demons they say are making me gay. But that didn't work. Then they wanted to send me to a gay to straight camp, but my refusal to go got me kicked out of my house. They refused to answer my calls or to see me also, Shane. I was in a coma last year for 60 days due to my brain cancer. I was 15 years old. I told my family I was gay when I came out of the coma, just in case I didn't live. But they just gave me a bunch of Christ books and stuff and told me to change my feelings and pray more to God. They wrote my brother a letter to give me, saying that they don't care about me anymore and my lifestyle will not keep them from entering heaven. I ended up in another coma this year, but just for two weeks, and only my brother and sister came to see me, I hear. My parents and grandparents refused to come see me, and they didn't want to know how I was doing. My heart hurts so much, because no matter what I've been through, I still get A's and B's in school, I respect them, and I do everything they ask me to, except to change being gay. Um, my, so, his sister knows his story, and has helped me to feel better about myself, but sometimes I feel like I don't deserve life because I lost my family because of me being gay, and the only way to change that is not to be alive. I hear people say mean things about gay people all the time. That 14-year-old YouTuber also hates me. My parents hate me, and my grandparents hate me, and on and on and on. When I hear leaders of our country say I don't deserve equal rights and most churches agree to that, it hurts me so bad. I have a lot on my plate, and I accept every single bad thing that happens to me, maybe because I'm gay, I don't know. But the pastor from my church, the one who performed the exorcism on me, says that God is mad at me, and he will punish me until I become straight. I think that's not true, but I don't know sometimes. I'm trying to read up on all of this, but I do miss my family a lot, and I wish I could change for them, but every single time I try, I'm still gay. This is who I am, and I'm learning that I can't change it, but I wish they didn't. I wish that they didn't hate me for it. I'm fine, I'm fine right now, but I have my days with my brain cancer, and I hope to be free 100% from it, but my parents and grandparents said in the letter that if I die, they won't come to my funeral or my gravesite. That took me weeks to get over. I lost my family, and my doctor says I may not make it to be 18 or 19, but I don't care at this point if I do. Sorry for telling you my life, Shane, but I need to get it all out before I do die. A broken teenager. That story, that message, just like, broke my heart for him, because this person that doesn't even know me is telling me their entire life story. And I don't think anybody would have ever a reason to, to lie about this kind of thing. And to have a family that completely disowns you and wants nothing to do with you while you're dying from cancer and they don't care and telling you that you have a problem and that God hates you. I wish I could give this guy the biggest hug. A lot of my videos in activism are because of people like him. I don't want to see people go through this. I don't want to see people be treated like this. I'm incredibly lucky with how my family is. But this this kid may not even live to be 18 or 19. And his family isn't even a family. They're, they're some of the biggest bullies I've ever heard of. And it's just sickening to know that because somebody loves somebody that someone doesn't understand can make them hate their son can make them hate their grandson can make them hate their friend and then he doesn't have anybody else to turn to because he's right you know the government's not trying to help him too much but thank god for his older brother and sister like thank god he has somebody and this 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 message just it really gives you a reality check. Please be thankful for what you have. You know, I, I hope he beats his cancer. I hope that this kid 
lives a long, healthy, happy life. I would I don't want to see somebody be so upset. You know. Thank you for this message. You know who you are, and you know if I have anything to do about it, you know, soon enough things are gonna change. You know we all gotta try, but you have a lot of love for you, and um, I really hope things get better for you. And I'll say a prayer for you, and um, I love you. So, I anybody watching this realize we have a lot to be thankful for and somebody going through all this and still able to be staying happy in life that takes a true person and I respect them and I will pray for that family because they need the help not him